Hey, Jared here from soundguitarlessons.com. This is a quick tip lesson. This is part of my quick tips lesson series. There's a link in the description to all the lessons in this series if you want to check those out. In this lesson, we are going to talk about phrasing. Phrasing is so important. It's critical. I did a video on phrasing a little bit ago and it did really well. People really liked it and they asked for more. So here's more. Here's the uh, quick tip lesson uh, version of it. But if you want to really work on this, definitely check that other video out because it has some more in-depth explanation and exercises for what we're going to be working on here. Phrasing, in this case, I'm just talking about rhythmic structure. Um, rhythmic composition, where there is space between notes, where, what are the rhythmic durations um, that is going to have whatever note selection we're working with have it sound musical. This is more important than playing the right notes or any notes. You can play any random notes with uh, phrasing structure and it will sound musical. Or you can play any notes in any order and the phrasing will completely change how it feels. Obviously just me playing a scale. Now, still playing a scale, but whoa, now it's a recognizable melody that we've all heard before. Um, so the phrasing is what unlocks that. The phrasing is just extremely powerful. So we want to be able to do this um, on the fly if we're improvising or kind of have an intuition for it if we're composing. So what I want to recommend here is that we use our ability of phrasing that we already have. I think we're already masters at phrasing because we talk. When you talk, you are phrasing. The way I just said that was phrasing in the way that we're talking about phrasing with rhythmic structure. I said something and I paused. Some of the words are closer together. Some of the words are further apart. Sometimes there's pauses. This is phrasing. So we want to take that ability, kind of put it in tempo a little bit, grab some random phrase of words. They're not lyrics, so don't worry. They're just dumb whatever you think. Um, and then play any notes, take a scale or random notes or anything and match it to those words and then give it some space in between and repeat and repeat and repeat. So if you just said, I want to work on phrasing. Okay. Let's lock that into the time. I want to work on phrasing. It's really close already. So we can just go, I want to work on phrasing. I want to work on phrasing, right? awesome melodies you'll notice they don't do anything too crazy that's just a bunch of that's just a string of notes in a row and then some space that's totally legit i want to work on phrasing right so the space in between is critical and then our ability to have control over, over it enough that we repeat it this is what's gonna make something sound really, really musical, right? So if you just go, I'm super hungry. Okay, how's that gonna fit? I'm super hungry. Boom, I'm super hungry. Mm -hmm. I'm super hungry. A lot of space is great. Okay, so just that ability with random different notes kind of hit that same phrase structure every time. Even if there's a lot of space, it doesn't have to be busy. It can be, can be anything. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? That actually sounds like maybe you're like, oh, I like that so much. I'm going to make that be the intro of my song. Um, we are sometimes, I mean, I, I've felt this before. I'm insecure about my playing. So I want to play more notes and fill it all up. Well, if I actually want to play that great, but um, the space ha has a feeling of confidence to it when we actually give it space and then react to what we're playing. So it's cohesive. So we're actually telling um, a story of some kind, potentially. In our real music, we just want to use that ability intuitively and react and definitely give space and definitely repeat ideas rhythmically we played, but then obviously switch it up whenever we want to. The exercise at least gets us that um, happening um, in a exercise environment where we have to repeat the same thing over and over again. So draw from how you are a master at phrasing already. Use some sort of phrase of words, any random thing. Try to apply it to your improvising um, on the guitar, and I think you'll really enjoy that. Phrasing is, like I said, one of these things that it's critical to make something sound not just like a scale up and down when we go to improvise because if we practice our scales we often will just do that the other ingredient is breaking up the order of the notes 
and that's why I work on melodic patterns. That's why I have a free PDF that is the top three melodic patterns for the pentatonic scale to break up the order of them. Combine those two things and you'll be flying with uh, making really, really awesome melodies and phrasing in your improvising or your composing. So there's a link in the top of the description to grab that PDF or go to soundguitarlessons.com slash number three patterns. In the next video in this series, I'm going to share a list of things that I did to heal my arm from two different times that I injured it from overplaying uh, repetitive strain injury, uh, guitar playing injury. So I had to go through the term oil of that. So I'm just going to share a little bit of what I did to help it get better, just in case that helps anyone else. So hope to see you in that video. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy practicing.